Hello, love. Let's talk about anger management, okay? I want you to sit with that term for a moment here. Anger management. What does it mean to manage something? You know, like right off the bat, I think about <laughs> something you really don't want to do. And you keep on saying to yourself or somebody asks you, let's say, how are you going to do this? Like they know you don't want to do it. And you're just like, yeah, I'll manage. I'll manage. Think about the vibration. Feel into the vibration of that word management. And by extension, anger management. Okay. I think of the fact that the root word here of this word has to be mono or like when we think of the Latin based word for hand, right? And the idea of holding on to something to control it, to manage it, to mitigate it. Okay. It being a Tuesday, the day of Mars, and by extension, Pluto, the energies of anger and transformation coming through here big time, I was really inspired to look at this phrase that we just throw around, that we kind of have grown up with, uh, that we've been conditioned to just sort of throw about, and maybe haven't really taken a moment to sort of sit with it and go, what exactly does that mean? to manage my anger because let me tell you something anger can be an absolutely beautiful thing the amount of energy in anger to change something is incredibly powerful so why are we just managing it Going into the meditation for this, I saw the image of the Three of Pentacles from the Mystic Mondays deck, which is the desk that I deck that I'm asking through spirit here for our guidance. And interestingly enough, when I pulled it right out, as spirit would have it, it was already sitting at the bottom of the deck before I shuffled the cards. So I didn't even have to look for it. Three of Pentacles. Okay, take a look at that image there. It's incredibly activating to see the synergy at work here. And what's crazy is that I heard the term come through, anger synergy, not anger management. All right, so three is the number of creation, right? Without getting too into it here, pentacles, it's happening in the physical. It's happening in the doing. And with the image of the triangle here, this is a very specific message coming through around anger management and the wounded masculine. That triangle, a symbol for the masculine and a symbol for fire as well. Fire is the element of transmutation, right? For me, it resonates very much with that. I think of the phoenix coming out of the ashes of a fire, right? Or coming out of a fire, rising from the ashes. It's the energy of transformation, very much in alignment with that image. And very clearly, this is a message for the wounded masculine. And let me be very clear here, the wounded masculine exists whether you are male or female, this is whether you see yourself more masculine or feminine, depending on, you know, the energies that are more present, because each and every one of us has these elements and in, in us, right? But this, interestingly enough, in the physical, right, has manifested very much with men and the wounded masculine in men, historically until now. I also saw the image of Aries himself come through 
with his armor on and a massive hole right over his heart here, closer to the left. A massive hole of a wound and him wanting to put his sword down. So having said that, I'm gonna get into the cards. I'm asking through the Mystic Mondays Tarot and the Black Moon Astrology cards. We had the Knight of Swords come up at the bottom of the deck. This is Aries wanting to put his sword down. This is the energy specifically of a very cerebral, masculine energy disconnected from the heart space and a specific nod to the term. Because remember, swords energy is all about the verbal qualities, the, the language that we use to define something, right? It's a specific nod to looking at this term, anger, management. When you are all up in your head, you can't heal the emotional body. It's, it can start that way, and that can be a part of it. But the deeper transformational energies come when you get in your body and you feel the emotions through your body to transmute them. And anger is a huge part of this. If we're trying to manage anger all the time, it's like a Band-Aid. It's a Band-Aid solution because basically what ends up happening is you kind of, you're kind of constantly sort of building on this. It's like you're building a wall, okay? It's, it's like doing exactly the opposite of what trying to heal anger or healing anger period is all about, all right? Then we had the Knight of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the two of wands come out all in this order. They all popped out while I was shuffling. Three out of the four knights showed up in this reading. Knights are all about focusing and doing. Movement, okay? In all in the in the court cards, that's what they do. They do stuff. They represent that masculine aspect of doing, okay, of focusing energy in a very kind of linear way, right? The only knight that didn't show up here was the Knight of Pentacles, which is the slowest moving of all the knights, okay? So there is this underlying energy in this reading of continuously doing something to avoid something else which is basically how am i going to transmute this anger all right how how because this is very 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 much i'm going to start with the knight of wands here many men coming from a, a wounded masculine place in having difficulty and challenge around transmuting the emotional body and expressing their emotions just get angry that's what this Knight of Wands is doing. His back is to the other three sort of things he's not paying attention to that are asking to be healed and that are actually ways in which we can heal this wounded masculine energy coming through. But he's just like, let me distract myself with whatever comes up in the heat of the moment. I'm just going to react. I'm going to keep on doing Basically, this is like Knight of Swords is like the fastest moving energy. This is air. And then we get to the Knight of Wands, which is the next fastest. Okay. A lot of this healing and this um, blockage or inability to kind of transmute these energies of anger come from a feeling of not being good enough. It's as simple as that. Like, and we all struggle with this, right? To some extent, we all have. Not measuring up in the physical, not being able to be a provider. That was another thing that came through with this as well. Um, the burden of that, right? The feeling of 
I'm going to just, you know, be dutiful and do what I got to do and stiff upper lip. That's how I'm going to do this. That's what's coming through here with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. And then the Knight of Cups in reverse is basically, this is not being able to access that heart space, not being able to go there, not being able to go into the emotional body, wearing a freaking armor on that sleeve, you know, not letting that, that the energy of the heart kind of shine through. But in doing that, you're showing the healing that needs to come up to take place, right? And then finally, with the Two of Wands coming through here in reverse. So I always see the Two of Wands as a portal, right? The Two of Wands is the energy of the wand suit is always the energy of spirit, of willpower, right? Um, in Pamela's deck, you've got the image of that man with one foot in his front yard, so to speak, and the other foot ready to step out on a journey. This is the journey of healing that needs to take place in the spirit. And when it's coming up here in this reading here in reverse, What's happening is we are not being able to do this because anger management is not anger synergy. And we need to be able to synergize. And I often see two, very much the number two of these two, you know, again, this is the divine feminine number. This is the number of relationship of coming together, right? That not happening in the spirit, okay? So, when we start to shift our focus in terms of looking at anger as something to synergize, anger becomes our friend. It's not this thing we want to lock away in a box or manage or keep under its reins. No. It's coming up beha because the wound is where we heal. That's where we heal. And that has been reaffirmed here with Saturn coming up at the bottom of the deck. Truth from the Black Moon Astrology cards. This is the number six in this particular deck, which is the number of harmonizing, of love, of being able to bring something again together. We had the two of wands, and now we've got the six coming through here in Saturn and Truth. This is also the underlying energies of Taskmaster Saturn and the authoritarian figures, the father. This is everything to do with masculine energy, fathers, uncles, like of authority, right? Masculine figures of authority. And how this is, you know, just like Eckhart Tolle talks about, this is a pain body in the masculine that's asking to be looked at. Why is that freaking anger there to begin with, right? It's serving a purpose. We have to look at the, at the truth of that. And Saturn is always, again, Taskmaster Saturn. He's like that really strict teacher. I heard an astrologer say this once. I think it was Timothy Howard, and I can't remember. He's like that really strict teacher that you had for the whole year in school. And at the end of the school year, you did so well that he turned around and for a moment almost smiled at you and went, see? And then we had Libra come out here. Just beautiful. I balance. The number 19 that reduces to a 10. And what's interesting is one is always the number of the individual, the beginning of something. Nine is the next level of initiation. This is how it's going to be done. Relationship. Venus energy coming through here. The divine feminine. Venus and Mars were each other's consorts, so to speak. That's the divine masculine, divine feminine at work right there. One part, one half of each, you know, the other, they were there. Oh, I can't, I can't think of the right phrase I'm trying to sing here, but you know what I mean, right? Like we had Mars on one hand, masculine. We had Venus on the other, feminine. This is all about harmonizing, harmonizing that energy and balancing that energy. Anger is your friend. It's asking you to come up and synergize it as opposed to try and put a leash on it, okay? This is how healing starts. Thank you so much for being here. I'm sending you so much love wherever you are.